Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do two strand twist pin curls with braids. I'm starting with hair that has already been straightened and divided into different sections. Now this part is really up to you if you want to do this hairstyle. For me, I want to create what looks like a mohawk. Hence, I start by creating cornrows along the sides of my head. Actually, my whole head is going to be covered with cornrows, but the illusion I want to create for this hairstyle is a mohawk. So I'm going to have pin curls running along the middle of my head and they'll be surrounded by cornrows all along the side of my head. So for now, I'm simply doing a cornrow design I'd like to appear on the sides of my head. As I said, this is up to you. Once all the hair has been put in cornrows, I start working on the pin curls and I need rough textured braids for that. I'm going to create pin curls on top of the cornrows in the middle of my head. So using a V-shaped hairpin, I pass it a quarter of the way through the cornrow. I then take a folded braid and twirl it a bit to make it thin enough to pass through the opening in the V-shaped hairpin. Once enough hair has passed through the hole, I pull on one side of the hair strand and pass it through the opening. I then tag the pin out of the cornrow which pulls the hair through. Once half of the hair has passed through the cornrow, I do a two strand twist. To repeat the process, I pass the V-shaped pin a quarter of the way through the cornrow. I take a folded strand of hair, twirl it to make it thin enough to pass through the V-shaped opening. Once enough hair has passed through the opening, I pull through one side of the folded strand and then pull the hairpin back out of the cornrow to pull the hair through the cornrow until it's halfway. I then do a two strand twist. Once I have two two strand twists, I twist them together again to make another twist. Once that is complete, I start to lay the twist flat onto the cornrow in a circular motion to form a flat coil. I then tuck the end of the hair underneath the coil and away from sight. Once I'm happy with the coil, I take a bobby pin, pass it through the coils and lodge the end of it into a cornrow to keep it stable. I repeat the same process. The reason I fold my hair four times, working with folded hair makes the coil have more volume and take up more space. By the way, do the coils as you go along. Don't do a lot of twists first without coiling them. You might end up with too many coils on your head.
For my actual hair that you can see back there, I simply twist it together with another two strand twist, make a coil and repeat the process. So I repeat this whole process all the way down the middle of my section from the front to the back. And this is the final look. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. That is a very nice protective hairstyle that I wear for myself. And I love it especially now in summer because I get to spray my hair in the mornings and in the afternoon whenever I get to wear a pink girl hairstyle. If you do decide you'd like to try this out by yourself or to go to a salon and have somebody do it for you, I have some tips that I think might be helpful. The first one being the type of braids that you use. Do not use smooth braids if you have natural hair. Try, if you can, to use rough textured braids, something like Molly braids. The reason I say that is the rough textured braids actually have a bit of frizziness and that blends in quite well with natural hair, at least for me, it blends in quite well with natural hair, especially if you're spraying your hair, because as you spray your hair, it becomes a bit frizzy. So the frizziness actually blends in quite well, that's what I've found. If you're in Namibia and you're looking for Molly braids, the three places that I know of where you can get them are Simana Naturals Emporium, the Morning Style Beauty Shop, and the Virgin Hair Boutique. Those are the three places I know of where you can get Molly braids. Secondly, try and get braids that are the same shade as your own hair. When I bought these last year, I could only find black, and my hair happens to be dark brown. The reason I'm saying that you should get shades that are close to your own hair is because as the hairstyle grows older, you can see the different shade. Now, on my head, it started looking like as if my hair was dirty, and that's definitely not the look I was looking for. The third point I do have is the tools that you use. For this hairstyle, you can actually use your crochet needle. I do have a crochet needle, but I don't use mine because of that little snag. This part actually seems to snag in my hair, so I guess I haven't yet mastered how to use the, the crochet needle. But in the meantime, I've mastered how to use the V-shaped hairpin. So if you don't have this, you can actually use this, which you can find anywhere, and it makes it quite easy for you to pull the hair through. The cornrows. Oh, I do have one more point. Wherever you're going to pass the braids through with a crochet needle, make sure those those cornrows are very loose. Do not make them tight. Make them very loose. Otherwise, it'd be difficult for you to pass these tools through your hair. Those are the only tips I can think of. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a lovely day.